boys and girls, it's Mrs. Ellis. How are you? Today, I'm thinking about autumn. Autumn is one of my favorite seasons because of the colors of the leaves. And even though we live in Florida and we don't get to see a real autumn, there are places where all the leaves start to change color into reds and yellow and orange and and a little brown and as you can see as the leaves change sometimes some of the leaf is still green and then the other colors start to creep in so i thought it would be nice to have a little something to remind us of autumn and we're going to make a nice autumn wreath you can hang it up i think it looks really kind of pretty and very autumny so let's get started and I'll tell you the things you need. You need to have a paper plate. You need to have some typing, plain printing paper. Probably three sheets is good. One, two, three sheets is good. You need to have your watercolors. Now, if you have a really big set like this, this is fine, this is okay, but this will do just fine, this one here. And of course, you need to have a container with a little water in it, your brush, and I like to keep a little piece of folded paper towel just in case I need to dry my brush off a little. And of course, a pencil, scissors, and some white glue. These are what you need. Oh yes, you also need a little piece, not very much, a little piece of yarn. You're only going to need about that much, so uh, just a little piece. And then you need the leaf tracers that I gave to you. You have a little kit, two different types of leaves. All right, we have two different kinds which I gave to you. These will be tracers. So let's put everything aside and get started. There we go. All right. There. Now, remember the, uh, let's keep in mind the autumn colors so you can remember. Reds, yellows, golden yellow, brown when the leaves start to die, a little bit of green left and orange those are the colors not blue or or purple or turquoise the colors of autumn are the reds the yellows the blues some brown and a touch of green too so take your pay take your printer paper my suggestion is to take two sheets at a time put them together and fold them in half Corner to corner, fold them in half. We'll put this one aside for a minute. Now take your leaves and put them down. Make sure you can fit them both on. I think mine would, one would go better this way and one would go better that way. Then make leaf space in between. Then hold them down and tray. Remember, keep the pencil up, not digging under the leaf and trace carefully around your leaf. The stem is the hardest part because it's so thin. So hold it down with your finger as you go around. Whoop, I'm gonna leave that, that's not too bad. And go all around your leaf, both of them, until you have both of them traced. Now, if you cut them out, because you folded your paper, you will automatically have four of these and four of those. See? One, two, three, four. Four of these and four of these. That makes eight. But I've had to use nine or ten on my wreath, on my autumn wreath. So I suggest taking another paper that's the third paper, folding it in half, tracing again, and then what you do is you cut them out so that you have a whole 
bunch of these. Try and cut carefully. If you make a little mistake and cut a portion off, just leave it. If you want to do it over, you can, but if it's not quite exact, that's okay. Now we're ready to do our watercolors. But here's where I suggest you have a messy mat because I don't want to get this all full of wet and paint. So I have this piece of cardboard that I keep as my messy mat. See, it's messy. It is messy. That's why I keep it. Now, I will do one at a time. Now, here's the order that you do it in. Listen carefully. Here are my watercolors. Here's my brush and my water. We are using a wet on wet technique, which means the leaf will be wet, the watercolors will be wet, and the water helps move all the colors around. So you dip your brush in the water, just give it one dip, and then quickly paint the water on your leaf. It doesn't have to be perfect, don't soak the leaf, just wet it quickly. Remember, hold it like a pencil, use the tip. If you miss a spot, it's okay. Your leaf may start to curl up on you, so hold it down. Now remember, get your watercolors ready. Put some water in your autumn colors, red, orange, yellow, green, and brown. All right, now we're ready to put some, gently rub the watercolors, don't squish your brush down, and just quickly, look how quick this works. I like to sometimes paint the, leaf, the tips first. Just like we saw in the picture, the leaf starts to change colors. Look how fast this is. Now I'm going to add a little green because my leaf hasn't changed completely yet. See why I use a messy mat, everybody? Let the, let the colors blend where they need each other. Let them bleed into each other. Let the water carry it. And the last thing is a little bit of brown right on the stem. Then carefully pick it up. It's very delicate now. It's easy to tear. And move it to the side and take your next leaf. Water. And if the water gets a little dirty, that's fine because it's got the colors you need under it anyway. One dip is all you need. Now this one, I'm gonna put a little brown, even though the stem is brown. My leaf is sort of dying. It's at the end of its life. But the bottom part is still, still has its color in it. See how I'm bringing the yellow up into the brown a little bit. So I can let the colors mix into the water and then finish with a little bit of brown for the stem. Look how quick that's going. Move that one away to dry. Pretty soon you're going to have a whole bunch of beautiful leaves, a whole big bunch. They will dry quickly. Actually, while we do the next part, all your leaves are probably dry. Here are all my leaves dry, ready to work. So here's what we do. While your leaves are drying, that's why if you have a messy mat, you can put them on the side. Take, take your paper plate, all right, and take your scissors, now, I hope your scissors have a point. If not, you may have to use a pencil, but you have to be very careful with this part. I like to spread my fingers apart on the back like a big letter V. And I take my scissors and I sort of drill a hole right into the plate. I'm gonna show you with a fresh plate. I have my fingers spread and I take my scissors and just drill gently till it goes through and then twist, twist, twist it around until I make a hole that's big enough to put my scissors in and cut the circle around the plate. There we go. Just follow the circle of your plate until you've cut out the middle. 
you don't need to keep the middle. Maybe you want to save it as a scrap in case we need it for another project. You'll have a little nice piece of strong white paper. You just need a nice plain plate like these. These are mostly inexpensive. You don't want a big, hard, fancy plate with all these beautiful designs on it. Just a plain, simple plate. Now let's gather up the other things we need. We can put the watercolors away. As an artist, you always want to clean up after yourself so you're ready for the next step. Here we are. Okay. Now, if your leaves aren't dry enough to handle yet, give them a few more minutes. All right, give them a few more minutes. I really suggest putting your name on the back of the plate, which will be your wreath. All righty, now we'll start with the dry leaves and your glue, your white glue, your Elmer's or whatever brand you're using, but you need glue, not a glue stick. This will not hold it. You need glue. All right. And this part's pretty quick. You see your leaves go here. So just, just, there we go. Just squeeze some glue, let the glue come down. Just squeeze some glue around there. You don't have to put it on the ends for this, right there. And just lay it in and press it down. If you don't like it that way, and you wanna do it that way, that's up to you. You are the creator of this wreath. Now you take your next one, and again, a little glue, just squish it in the middle there, see? And overlap the first one. We want to hide this plate as much as we can. And press down. And your next one, now you can overlap this way. See how I put it on top? Or sneak it underneath if you like, like that, uh, that's all up to you. Uh, let's get this little glue there. I'm going to just scooch it right under there. Be a little bit generous with the glue. You know, we want to make sure your leaf sticks down. Now, I, li I like to have some on this side going this way and on that side going that way. So... I'm going to just continue. Don't forget, put enough glue. I'm going to scooch this one underneath, just like that. Press it in, and you continue going all the way around, boys and girls, until you have finished. Keep going. I'll see if I can do this quickly. There we go. I think I'll put this one this way. You can mix it up however you like. I wonder how many I'm going to use, end up using for my wreath here. Uh, here we go. And here we go. As I said, be generous with your glue. You need to have enough glue to hold it. Another one. There. Maybe I'll put this one like this. You know, it's up to you how you want to put them. It's all up to you. And then I'll put this one here. I like that one. Maybe I'll just, I don't know, should I scooch? Yeah, I want that one like that. I don't think I put enough glue on that one. There. Push down, keep pushing because your glue is going to be, and I think, hmm, which way, <laughs> this way, yeah, I like that way, I like that one, here, and see, 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I'm going to need a tenth one for this. And there's one I just did with you. Put some glue there. It's a little wet yet, a little damp, but I think it'll be okay. There. Uh, move that down a little bit. There we go. See, that was quick and easy. Now let's turn it over. And now you need that little piece of yarn. Not too big. About how big? Well, about like that. Mm. Make a big, big L. And uh, okay, that should be good enough. Now, you can turn this into a loop like this. And you can tape it or staple it. I like to tape it. I just think it's quicker than having to get the stapler in there. But I take a piece of clear tape and I put my little loop together there and I tape it on and there we are. Ta-da! A lovely, lovely little wreath for autumn that didn't take a lot of time but this whole technique is really fun because the water blends the colors of your leaves. So until next time, boys and girls, take a picture when you're done and don't forget to send it to me, Ellis RT Smarties at gmail.com. Take a picture and send it to me so I can see your beautiful wreath for autumn. Ellis RT Smarties at gmail.com. Bye.